Whole Foods is avoiding sodium benzoate, as shown with the skinny margarita ordeal. Oh, check this article out from the New York Post. Whole Foods drops Bethany Frankel drink containing toxic preservative. Ooh, interesting. People who say that real housewives are toxic have no idea how right they are. Oh, really? This looks juicy. Whole Foods has stopped selling former Real Housewives of New York City stars Bethany Frankel Skinny Girl Margarita after discovering it has potentially carcinogenic ingredients. Website says it's all natural, you can trust it, or can we? All natural ingredients and no preservatives actually contains the preservative sodium benzoate. Studies have shown Studies have found that the preservative can become carcinogenic if mixed with other substances such as vitamin C. Huh, we might be onto something here. <clears throat> I'm not making wheatgrass here. Well, no crap, Sherlock. You're not in Whole Foods either, now are we? <laughs> <coughs> They represent an infinitesimal fraction of our business. We are, in fact, the fastest growing spirits brand in the US. <laughs> this is kind of funny, because you know the little kombucha company named GT's? They're a multi-billion dollar business and they started at Whole Foods. So I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Now that I see the IQ levels of being a real housewife, please excuse me, because I'm going to go apply. Welcome back folks. Today we are talking about another additive. Imagine that. This one going by the name of sodium benzoate. Why might you want to listen to this video or watch this video all the way to the deathly end? Well, men, if you're out there, if you convince your spouse not to consume sodium benzoate before bed, there'd most likely be less headaches and therefore less irritability in your all's relationship. So take that to the bank. But on a more serious note, we believe this additive should be avoided due to its many harmful potential side effects. So let's talk about that. Why you might want to listen to me? Well, you don't have to, but I do enjoy nerding out on some PhD articles in nutrition and other mumbo jumbo like that so you don't have to. So there's that. What is sodium benzoate and why is it used? Well, good thing you asked. Sodium benzoate is widely used as a food preservative. So it is found here, here, and of course here. You'd think pickling these suckers would preserve it enough, but apparently not to Mr. Vlasic, these pickle guys. Anyways, it's commonly found in obviously more processed foods, such as shown here. There's many more examples out there. Thus why you guys need to read your labels more. I know you guys love our props, so we'll keep on bringing them to you. <laughs> In its free acid form, it is a fungicide. <laughs> it is a fungicide. It can be used as a fungicide. It has also been incorporated into many plastics because it's known to improve clarity and strength. Definitely sounds like something that should be in your snacks. Why might you want to avoid so sodium benzoid? Well, has been shown to increase your risk of leukemia and other blood cancers. And sodium benzoate, when it's paired with ascorbic acid, aka vitamin C, has been shown to create benzene, which is a known carcinogen, which also damages your nervous system and bone marrow. Yuck. We don't want somebody getting scurvy on us. Similar to food coloring, sodium benzoate has also been linked to behavioral difficulties and hyperactivity symptoms in children. Hashtag ADHD, again. Laboratory tests showed that rats given higher doses of sodium benzoid had a higher, had an increased mortality rate of their offspring. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like what we're doing here. I'm trying to push out more content. And if you have a food group or kind of nasty-ish ingredient that you want us to check out, drop us a comment down below. Thanks for watching.